Um, getting into numbers a little bit is, is, it can be quite hard. Um, in the UK, for example, the radio rating system, Rager, actually stopped because their methodology involves going around to people's homes and placing diaries digitally or on paper. And uh, that became quite challenging. We've got some new numbers hopefully coming quite soon. So, so there can be limits to, that might be different in your country, but there can be limits. Um, but what we do know about radio, and indeed audio and podcasts, is that it's habit driven. What you do through the day, um, you tend to do repeatedly. And, you know, radio is built like that, audio is built like that. When I get up in the morning, maybe I put on a particular channel, or when I go on the commute, maybe I play my favorite podcast. And, you know, e even things like, I know that if this feature on my favorite breakfast show is on air, I need to be leaving my front door. That's the kind of thing, the way that habits are driven. But what happens when this all gets disrupted? Well, we know that the commute is a really important part of a lot of audio listening. And um, as people, lockdowns were put in place, shelter from home and other, other, uh, other things happened in different parts of the world and different timetables and working from home became much more important. There was enormous concern, I think, throughout the audio industry of what was going to happen. And I think that, that to give you an idea, that this chart here, which I hope, hope you can see, gives you a kind of a clue. This is um, UK Department for Transport data. And on the extreme left, you can see that what the lines are showing is from the beginning of the pandemic right through to a couple of weeks ago, actually, how the different types of transport are being used. So the red line at the top is cars, and you can see the, the waves and, you know, how it reduced to 30% of car traffic on the roads, and then it returned to close to 100%, then another wave came along in the UK and it dropped away, and it's now back around 100% in the UK. But public transport has still not returned to normal. And a lot of people on public transport are listening to a lot of audio. So that has disrupted audio listening There's un unquestionably, and you can see that from people's behaviours. But it's, it's not all bad news. Our colleagues at ACAST, who we work with commercialising um, podcasts, have looked closely at their, their data to see when people were looking. And we know that there was a lot of audio listening in that breakfast peak, then there's a, a drive peak, and then a late night peak, particularly for podcasts. And while that is still, that hasn't returned, what you have found is that people have started listening through the day. And uh, so the red line worked, uh, was the Q1 numbers, and then the, this is 2020 data, Qs2 and Q3s were higher during the day. Because it turns out can listen to a few podcasts while you're at home, in between those Zoom calls, in between the parenting uh, that you might be having to do. Oh, and by the way, aren't stock photos lovely? Um, so so, so that, that's kind of quite encouraging. And, you know, you can look at the other things that we know people started doing. Um, a picture of a cyclist here, because I like cycling, but a lot of cycling, a lot of running going on, people starting, at, people doing more exercise, people going for walks, trails, parks got really busy, and audio played quite an important part of that. So as people's behaviours changed, so their audio listening adapted. And, you know, some recent data from a US company, Morning Consults, showed that this is American data, but I, I don't see it being irrelevant here, that many, that 22% of uh, Americans said that they listen to more podcasts than usual during the pandemic. Now, at different times, those might be different types of things and what people need to listen to, what kind of editorial they want to hear. Do they want to hear news? Do they want to hear things that take them away from that? That's a whole different, different matter. But, you know, I think that's, that's kind of quite encouraging and, you know, that's not the listening hasn't been lost, but it's been displaced. That, that seems to be the, the, uh, the goal here. I think um, longer term, there are likely to be changes. And, um, you know, there'll be some reversion to the mean, as statis statisticians say, which means things will return to normal, but it won't entirely return to normal. I think that's safe to say. And, and as, the, um, as the pandemic has done with other things like online shopping, it's accelerated some of the changes that were probably going to happen anyway. 
So that's it from me. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Um, I would be a bad audio professional if I didn't throw forward to a session I have tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. Uh, where you can hear about podcast trends.